Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minutes is about taking a risk. Have you ever, and I suspect you have, come to a point in your life where you have to leap without looking? When you just have to go ahead and make a choice and do it without any visible reward first. I kind of smiled when I said making a choice and doing it because not making a choice is actually a choice as well. You can choose to be last for something and that is a choice. You can choose not to take action and that is actually an action. And so many times there is the tendency to wait until you see the, the route up ahead open up. Uh, you wait for an invitation. You um, don't want to take a step forward without a guarantee. Traveling through life doesn't necessarily work that way. You have to take your step on the path to be on the path. The path is like a, it, it's like moving, you know. So to, to get in with the flow and experience the flow, you got to get in your kayak and get in the river. Once you're in the kayak, once you're in the river, you can't say, I've changed my mind and tried to paddle the other way. You have to move forward as best you can. It may not be graceful. It may, you know, it, it may not, you, you may not be doing it perfectly. We are constantly creating. We are constantly encountering. We are, are constantly coming up to having choices that feel like risks when really they are the opportunity for us to move forward, advance to the next level, to step away from fear or step away from discomfort, getting out of the rut. So there, there are two or three times that I can specifically think of that were risks for me. And when I did that, it's just like doors opened up. So one of the first instances I can think of is when I made the choice to teach everything I knew. I went through five years of training with a mystery school that was based on a combination of Eastern and Western mysticism. And I worked for them on and off for 13 years, 14 years, long time. And after that, I continued teaching the things I knew. I continued the practice and then I actually expanded my practice. I, I took a risk and went to Findhorn, expanded those belief systems. And I noticed some similarities between the, the two places where it looked like that people weren't teaching everything they knew. There was almost like a built-in job protection uh, between the people at the top and then the people who were coming in later. It may not be an entirely accurate perception, but it does seem like not training the people up to your level, which gives you job protection because you always be the one you are, you're always the one who knows the most, and you also then don't have to open up to new levels of growth yourself. So I just decided, dang it, I'm going to teach everything I know, and I put it out, and boom, I. I got a group of students, and uh, I, I actually ended up being with them, or vice versa, they were with me for four years. I, I had four years of curriculum to give them. 
And the next step that came out of that was my radio show. And it was a risk to choose to be on a radio show, to communicate to the world in a different venue than just face-to-face, -face, in person, you know, one person at a time, small groups at a time. The radio show opened me up to people in 170 countries around the world. And I made the risk to do that, and I actually I made the financial commitment to do that, and immediately afterwards uh, I got called from East West Bookshop to be one of their readers, which took me into Seattle regularly, took me into being in the, in the flow of things and doing readings regularly for half of my normal rate, but it got me out into the public in a different way. And a year after that, that opened up to um, oh, just all sorts of continuous amazing things. So you teach everything you know, you have to be willing to open up to your next level, which means that you don't know as much. You're no longer the expert, but you're opening up to new things. And we're continually doing this in our life. So stepping outside of your comfort zone is a risk. And yet staying within your comfort zone is a risk as well because the, the comfort zone actually becomes uncomfortable after a while. You know, when you need to expand, you, you need to grow. As essence, you're always coming deeper into this experience of life, but you are this great and powerful and amazingly creative being, and expansion has to happen somewhere. So notice, think about the times that you've had this before, because some of it's normal. It's like graduating high school and going to college stepping into being in a committed relationship. Some of these are pretty standard experiences of expansion. And then some of them are greater levels of risk. You know, quitting your job to become an entrepreneur. Leaving your marriage to be in more integrity in the world. Some of these are really tough choices. And look at your life right now and notice whether or not, some of you might already be going through these, you might have already made this risk, this choice, and you're going, yes, I totally understand. And some of you might be going, because you are teetering on the edge, you are tipping on the edge of opening up into this amazing expansion. Some of you might not even be in touch with that yet because you just suddenly realize that you are uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Is there something I'm supposed to do? <laughs> it's nothing you're supposed to do, but what are you being called to do? What is the greater aspect of you calling you forth to be here expressing and creating in the world from the greater aspect of who you are? And rather than give you a, a, a technique at this time or something else to chew on, just chew on, <laughs> chew on that. Looking at your life and noticing where the expansion is happening or where the expansion, where does the expansion need to happen? What is the risk that you need to take? Last little thing that I'll share with you is that I, I am yet again going through an expansion. I have been going through it now for a couple years, but I have been at this point waiting for it to be given to me, uh, <laughs> waiting for the universe to reveal it 
for me. You know, Publishers Clearinghouse, come to the door. And it just hit me that it's just yet another lesson. It, it's stepping forward into the abyss to realize that it's a crystal bridge. So if you want to know more about this, uh, there's a lot of information on my website. It's joan-nukum.com. I have a course coming up called Real World Manifesting, which is all about bringing this amazing amount of creative energy that you are into physical form and, and how to do that. How do you do this? Bring this in and through. So you can sign up there for that. There's also lots of information, joan-nukin.com, and thanks for listening to Mystic Minute.